we have a distance from our uh, home point where we took off. We have an elevation in meters. Currently we're at 21 meters uh, high and uh, our direction is 118 degrees. Those are the numbers on the left. Uh, so Paul's taking it up here to the uh, top of the redwood tree. Uh, and we're taking a look at it on the screen. Uh, you'll notice how smooth that image is looking uh, up top. Uh, so we can get pretty close to the tree and actually fly around it, uh, see what we have going on. So it's going to be pretty interesting uh, when we have uh, things like insects or diseases or canker it's at the top of the tree uh, that we can't see very well from the ground. Uh, so uh, we've got pretty good range on this, about 150 meters. So we can not only inspect the trees back here, uh, but we can take it to the front of the conference center. And if somebody will open the doors, we can fly right through the conference center. Uh, I don't think we'll do that tonight in case somebody closes the doors. Uh, but we're going to go out front and take a look at the maples. And you'll be able to see them on the screen here. Uh, so uh, we can't really see the drone real well from here, but uh, we'll take it in on top of those maples and see what's going on uh, there. Uh, so if you're in the turf side of the business, this is a great tool uh, to look at the turf here. If you look at it from our level, ooh, yeah, okay. Uh, but if you look at it from up, uh, up above, you can really see the areas uh, that may have issues. So kind of a, a neat way to do this. And if you're involved in uh, building maintenance, wow, you can check out the roof without climbing up there. Uh, kind of a, a neat advantage. So we don't really know all the uh, capabilities of these devices right now. Uh, certainly tree inspection is going to be one of them. Uh, and I think the more we use this, the more we're going to dream up uh, to uh, use it for. Uh, so anything up high is going to be good. Uh, it can hover like that, and we can get a pretty still uh, view of what's going on. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're happy to, to talk about things we can do. You know, certainly we can send a string up there if we want uh, to run a climbing line over a tree. We can't fly through trees right now. Uh, controls aren't quite that good. We can get pretty close to them. But we like to stay a little bit outside uh, the canopy. We've had a few run-ins with trees. And let me tell you, when it comes to trees and drones, the trees always win.